Oh my gosh, yes! This is one of my favorite series to do. Actually, one of the reasons it's my favorite is because you guys enjoy it so much, but I still, to this day, get DMs from you guys figuring out things from old Shot and Forgot episodes. Welcome to another episode of Shot and Forgot. If you don't know what this is about, I'm gonna explain it quickly. What is Shot and Forgot? Basically, I went on eBay and bought 535 millimeter film slides. Completely random. They were from an auction house in Las Vegas. I know nothing about them. Some of them will have writing on them, some of them will have the year, and some of them will have absolutely nothing. The goal from this series is to scan the photo on a high quality photo scanner, zoom in, look at labels, stores, street names, anything we could possibly find as clues to locate where these photos were taken. No idea what we're about to see. Okay, let's do it guys. This is episode six of Shot and Forgot. Photo number one. Ooh, what a vibey picture. We have these beautiful mountains. We've got this beige house. It looks like these are telephone wires or something. It says May of 1988. No indicators. These ones are always a little bit tricky because when you don't have street signs, you don't have any sort of iconic things. Like I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I know I'm not gonna be able to figure it out. Next photo. Yes! These ones are my favorite just because of the style. Okay, so what do we have here? Looks like we have a guy holding an Olympic torch. Like, you know when they do the, the, the torch running before each Olympics? His shirt says AT&T Toro Relay. Sponsored by AT&T, clearly. Toro? June 14th of 84. Okay, AT&T, I'm guessing this is 1984. Torch! Oh my god, it's his torch! What? It's a fuck. he's holding a torch. It's the AT&T torch relay. Okay, hold on, let's Google this. 1984 AT&T torch relay. Oh, the Summer Olympics. It says a coast to coast Olympic torch relay began in 80. So this could have been anywhere, it was coast to coast. Just to show you guys the route of this torch race, it literally did all of the East Coast. It did Northeast, it did Southeast into the mid, Northwest, Southwest, again, mid US. I'm not sure where this is guys, my, my guess is to say somewhere in Ohio. The past five episodes have been heavily Cleveland based. Not much we can do that one. Next photo. Okay. What do we got here? This looks like it's somewhere in Europe. I'm statues with their fists up. Oh, this is backwards. Let's say south, southeast. All we need to do is figure out what that says. This one's gonna kill me because I feel like this is like such an iconic building. And I know there's someone out there in the world that's like, oh my God, that's this place. It doesn't even have a year. Okay, let's just Google statues with fist up. I know it sounds ridiculous, but oftentimes when you describe something like that, it'll show us. Okay, now we're looking for a statue with their fists up. Kind of looks like a garden. <gasps> we have the top of the Eiffel Tower right here. There's a round fountain. Tuileries Garden. No, oh, come on. Um, let's just look for the building if there's any similarities. Okay, Google Maps. Can we drag the guy in? Yes, look at all these photo points. Okay, so we are looking for this building or any of these statues. Whoa, <laughs> what the? <laughs> this Google point was provided by this guy. Shout outs to him. His belt is undone too, which is concerning. <laughs> okay, I don't see any bushes. That pond is way too big. That's like a legit pond. I'm gonna leave it here. That was very promising because it kind of had like the cross section with the pond in the middle. Guys, I guarantee one of you guys could figure this out. And I know that you guys really enjoy it. So here you go. Here's the photo. I'm gonna, you can look at it right now. Please tell me on Twitter or Instagram if you can locate this. All right, next photo. Okay, cool. We got a city. This one we'll be able to figure out for sure. All right, what do we got? We have a billboard that says, come up to cool. Cool is, I guess, a brand of cigarettes. Cocktails, pizzeria do, something temple. Oh, hold on. It probably is... Medina Temple. Let's look that up on Google. Medina Temple. Just like that. Chicago. That's it. Let's go to let's go to maps. I think the photo was taken like right there. Pizzeria do it's still there. Yes, look at the sign. 100 percent that's taken from the corner. We have Pizzeria do. So it was taken. The photo was taken like probably right here. That roof right there, I'm assuming is this roof right here. This building or parking structure it wasn't even built yet. It's now Bloomingdale's. I wonder if it's still a temple, probably not. Wow, so that temple right here is now a Bloomingdale's. This is brand new, the billboard was right here. Pizzeria Do is still going strong. All right, we're gonna scan these guys. Photo number five. Oh. 
This is definitely from the same photographer. Maybe the same flight as the last episode. They've done something with the camera where it's always coming out red. Yes, yes. This is from the same person because there's writing on it that is the same writing as before. September of 1958, Normandy Park, Manhattan. Where is this? Washington. <gasps> Chills, guys. I'm getting chills right now. It's all coming to me right now. Follow me here. In the past few episodes of Shot and Forgot, we've gotten these photos from a plane trip. Mostly, they've all been red, just like this. So I'm assuming it's from the same flight. In those flights, we had mountains. We had an airport in the middle of the mountains, like a landing strip. We had a movie drive-in theater that was just outside of Seattle. Washington. This is probably the same flight. And it looks like they're going north to... Alaska. In the past episode, I showed a landing strip with an airport code. I think it was ANA or something like that, which a lot of you guys told me was the Anchorage airport. Where these photos were taken is being documented going north up to Alaska. It feels so good to actually piece them together. It's so fun. I think it's just an area. Are there any similarities? You know, this is a pretty iconic road. It bends and it turns and there's a shopping center here. Shopping center there. This slightly bends and turns. These ones turn a lot. I'm not seeing much other than there's some like weird ass streets. Like look at this one. Who the hell designed this? I will admit what helped me put that together is this next picture. On the slide it says Juno Airport, 1955. You guys were right. My assumption is we know where they were going. Looks like they were going to Alaska for something. We just know where they came from. Oh, nice. This one should be fairly easy. Okay. We have a building that says Chagrin Hardware Co. Serving the Chagrin Valley. First off, where's Chagrin? Is it still there? Oh my God, it's still there. Where is this? Cle Cleveland. We've gotten so many photos from Cleveland in the Cleveland area. It's a small town. There it is. That's the photo. Um, hold on. These guys changed their year. Don't come at me with lies when I've got proof. This says serving the Chagrin Valley since 1860. It says serving the Chagrin Valley since 1857. They've bumped it up three years for some reason. Oh, you little sneaks. They found that they've embellished their year. Nice try. Next photo. <gasps> He's back. This has got to be Randy's dad. March of 1955. Who are you and where are you from? Wait, this might be the first photo ever where we can get a location. Oh my God, this might put us so much closer to Randy. Calm down, Dan. Guys, I'm so invested in this because I've been doing this for now like months. This is the same guy, 100%. You've got the teeth that are I don't know, they're sort of like blackish. The wrinkles and the nice red hair that is slicked back. We know this guy is somehow associated with Randy, but we do have this. Leoto's something wharf. Fisherman's wharf. Leoto's on Fisherman's wharf. Alioto's, we're missing the A. San Francisco. <sighs> Guys, this could be the first clue. Randy and his family might actually be from the San Francisco area. Guys, this is massive. Refine your search for Randy, Barry, or Debbie in the San Francisco area. This is the guy, same guy, 100%. This is Randy. We have so many of Randy's family photos that I would love to return them. I think we have now narrowed down from a global search for Randy to at least the San Francisco area. Okay, let's scan the next photos. We have had another connection here, guys. In one of the earliest episodes of Shot and Forgot, we had a picture of a gentleman at the airport. He was smiling, it looks like he was traveling somewhere. The only indicator we had was he was at an airport. I found his vacation photos. Oh my God. The same gentleman, he's visiting Hope Zoo, Fisherman's Inn. We have Chinese dishes, chicken, seafood. Where are you, sir? Where did you vacation? Let's look up Hope Zoo. Jamaica? Okay, maybe he's in Jamaica. Hope Zoo's in Jamaica. Same guy. We have Jane, is that a B? Jane Barlin Court. Man, I'm not really getting anything concrete here. I think this guy went to Jamaica. We have the, the Cum Cum Room. I gotta be careful Googling this one. 
Come, come room. This guy is confusing us. I don't know where you went, sir. All right, I'm tossing that over to you guys again. There you guys have it. Some big finds in this episode. I think maybe Randy is from the San Francisco Bay Area. If you enjoyed this video, I have five other episodes nicely laid out on my YouTube channel in a playlist. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have another DIY coming out this Sunday. And actually, a lot of you guys have been asking how I did this. I finally showed you how. All right, guys, if you have any information on what you saw here today, please DM me on Instagram, at Danocracy. I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.